You know, our staff provides uh, projections, uh, goes into real in-depth analysis of the situation of every country, and receives the feedback of the National Central Bank. So they don't provide uh, projections or they don't provide analysis in, in the vacuum of um, the, uh, the wonderful main building and euro tower of, of the ECB. We do reach out, we do work together on a euro system basis. And the, uh, the slowdown of the German economy was certainly anticipated uh, by the um, by you know the, the Bundesbank certainly the ECB as well and and shared on a on a euro system basis. So it's embedded and included in the projection that we have, and we analysed that very carefully with govern with members of the governing council in the last uh, couple of days because there is clearly heterogeneity uh, amongst. Uh, various countries. When you look at uh, countries um, separately as they come together to form the system, you see, for instance, that at the moment, Spain or the Netherlands are, 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 are you know, delivering strong uh, uh, GDP numbers, while at the other end, Germany is on, on, the, on the other side. Your other question about uh, pan-European banks. I think there are uh, quite a few pan-European banks. What, we are, what you're talking about here is more a cross-border merger between two large national institutions. And that is something which, as I said, will be reviewed from a regulatory standpoint and which certainly will satisfy many of those who uh, have expected uh, cross-border mergers to result from you know, banking union when it is achieved. So, Thank you.